The single twin engine system is a modular system, allowing easy modification and customization by adding or swapping Stex or NXT modules, setting up custom deadets, or changing the controls on the current grip. Let's take a look at the various out-of-the-box Stex configurations that VKB offers. This is the Stex Mini. With a small footprint, the Mini Config is designed for mounting systems. It is easily upgradable to a larger unit, be it converting to a Stex Max or Standard. Or simply paired with an MFH. To add an MFH to the Stex Mini, an MFH plate must be installed. We'll have to remove the base plate as well as the rear cover to install the MFH plate, but for now, let's just get the base plate off. With the internals of the Stex exposed, disconnect the USB board module and safely tuck away the cable. This plug is a friction-mounted mechanism, so there's no locking pin to press in. Try to avoid straining the small wires by tugging on them hard anyhow. Unscrew the rear cover, which will be replaced by the MFH plate. We will want to swap the USB board from the old rear cover to the new one. Unscrew the board and extract it gently. At this point, you will have lots of various screws. Make sure to keep track of which component a screw belongs to. Use the same three screws to install the USB board to the MFH plate. After seating the MFH plate, secure it in place with the corresponding self-tapping screws. You'll want to be careful not to cross-thread these screws, as it may cause the screws to dig a larger and therefore looser hole over multiple installations. With the plate now in place, let's reconnect the USB board to the rest of the electronics via the previously disconnected cable. The plug should seat fully and firmly, and the cable slack should be tucked away without creating extra tension. If unnatural resistance is found when plugging in the cable, review your positioning and orientation. Reinstall the small Stex plate with the corresponding screws, and then attach the MFH. The MFH can hold a variety of different accessories. Phones, tablets, a stem, a general aviation FSM, a SEM, a THQ module, or any sort of combination of SEM and THQ modules. To upgrade your Sex Mini to a Mini Plus or Max, you'll need a medium base plate, and optionally, an ATEM. Any Stex configuration with a medium or large base plate can be used on either desktop or mount. Start by removing the small base plate. If installing an ATEM, the rubber covers along the bottom of the Stex casing are next to go. Where two of the rubber covers used to be, two plastic couplers must be installed with screws. Seat the ATEM down onto these couplers and secure it with its two screws. With the ATEM installed, route its cable into the cable channel and behind the safety post, balancing slack reduction with tension avoidance. Plug the cable in and then tuck the slack into the space inside the casing. The new base plate takes six screws to secure it down. As with anything, distribute the clamping pressure evenly by tightening in a crisscross pattern. For increased security, two more screws are used to secure the MFH plate to the base plate from the top. 
To further upgrade your medium-sized throttle combo, add an MFH and a stem. This turns the Stex Mini Plus into a Stex Max. Attaching a stem to the MFH requires four M325 screws and a little bit of juggling. For the easiest installation, we recommend attaching the stem to the MFH before joining the MFH to the Stex. The MFH can still handle just as many different accessory configurations as shown on Stex Mini earlier. Phones, tablets, a general aviation FSM, a SEM, a THQ module, or any sort of combination of SEM and THQ modules. While the name may suggest otherwise, the Stex standard is the configuration requiring the largest base plate. To upgrade our medium-sized throttle combo to a stack standard, we'll need to uninstall the medium base plate and ATEM. Pull the cable straight up and try not to tug hard on the small wires on the way. Using the couplers previously installed for the ATEM, install the stem. Remove the stem's base plate and rubber covers to prepare for installation, and then seat it on the couplers and screw it down. Note the cable through the cable channel and behind the safety post, leaving neither unneeded slack or tension in the cable segment between the stem and the cable channel. Do note that the stem's cable has a different connector than that of the ATEMs. Attaching the large base plate to the stacks with the eight corresponding base screws and two corresponding auxiliary screws completes the stack standard build. further modifications can be installed. Once again, the MFH can be attached to make an extra long throttle combo. And once again, you can mount the same selection of smart devices or VKB modules to it as seen previously. Phones, tablets, a general aviation FSM, a THQ module, or any sort of combination of SEM and THQ modules. 